just think about it in terms of what's better for America, not Democrat, Republican, individual. What's going to grow America more? What's going to grow America more? What's going to make us more competitive, stronger? What's going to make us better educated? And the good news is, and I think there's overwhelming bipartisan support for this. If you look at the polling data, Republican voters overwhelmingly support it. Now I just got to get some of my Republican colleagues to support it. Well, we know who he's talking about, guys in the Senate. Let's bring in Republican Senator from Missouri, Josh Hawley, author of a brand new book, comes out today. It's called The Tyranny of Big Tech. Good morning to you, Senator. Good morning. Good morning. So, according to the president, uh, overwhelming support, bipartisan support, Republicans across the country support it, but he needs some of you uh, Republicans in the Senate to support it. Mitch McConnell said yesterday, there's not one senator on the Republican side going to support it. Yeah, I certainly hope that that's right. And I don't know what Republicans that uh, President Biden is talking to across the country, but it, it's nobody who lives in Missouri. I mean, listen, I can't imagine that there's Republican support for bringing socialism to America, which is basically what his plan is. I mean, he's proposed now $4 trillion in new big government spending just in the last month. This is on top of the $2 trillion he's already spent this year. He's mortgaging everybody's future in order to do what? Fund a bunch of liberal pet projects, cancel energy jobs, let China run away with the global competition. I mean, it's just, it's crazy stuff that he's proposing to do. And I don't think there's any any broad based support for it, certainly not among Republicans or independents. We've been talking about your book for a while now because I know after the insurrection, what happened at the Capitol and your response to that, Simon and Schuster right across the street from us, they canceled your book and then Regnery picked it up and it comes out today. And we were all saying yesterday, we think the book is going to be even more of a success because uh, folks who love you and support you are going to want to buy it and support you for supporting President Trump. Uh, tell us more about your book. Well, it's a book all about the power that these big tech monopolies have in our society, over our politics, over our government. It's an incredible, unprecedented amount of power. And we've seen what they want to do with it. We saw during the election, big tech tried to suppress the stories about Hunter Biden and Joe Biden to try to interfere in our election. We saw it in January when they kicked Donald Trump off of Twitter and Facebook, uh, when they kicked new, numerous conservatives off of those platforms. They tried to suppress speech they don't like. Here's the thing. These companies want to tell us what to think. They want to tell us what we can say. And they ultimately want to run the country. And we can't let them. And that's what the book is about. We cannot let them. We've got to reclaim our democracy for the American people. And the book is about how we can do that. With your book, with the interest on this, with the attention you've gotten, do you think with Donald Trump suspended from Twitter and everything else, do you think Facebook reinstates tomorrow? You know, I, I don't know what they're going to do. Here's the scary thing to me, Brian. Here, free speech in America, think about this. Free speech in America now depends on the whims of a monopoly corporation. That's how much power these people have. I mean, they're going to decide. And we, by the way, we have no idea how they make their decisions, Facebook and their, their right. Facebook uh, court and, and uh, all of this nonsense. This is ridiculous. We ought to be able to say what we want to say within the bounds of the law, of course, in this country. And the idea that these corporations would decide what we can say and can't say and who can speak and can't speak, it's, it's crazy. Right. But as you know, they're private companies. They can do whatever they want. However, you know, Joe Biden was talking about bipartisan support. There seems to be bipartisan support in Congress for getting rid of Section 230, which gives these monopolistic uh, big tech companies all of the protections they've got. You know, a lot of people looking in say, you know, it's probably time to pull that back. Yeah, I certainly think it is. And I go a step farther. I think it's time to break them up. And I talk about this in the book as well. I think these companies, Facebook, Twitter, Google, they're huge companies. They own not only so much of the Internet, they now own the cloud. Uh, they're, they're buying up other industries. There is no reason why these companies should be such monopolies and be able to control so much power, so much of our economy, so much of our lives. We need to break them up. That's the real solution here. We've done this before in American history. And you know, when the railroads tried to control our politics a century ago, we broke them up. Republicans did that, by the way. We were the party yeah. of trust busting, and we should be again. All right. And you're the leading voice when it comes to getting the social media companies uh, under wraps and under control, and your book lays the template on how to do it. Uh, it's going to be a huge hit, Senator. Thanks so much for withstanding uh, all the pressure and tension and stress and putting it out. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Congratulations. And we'll find out tomorrow, approximately 9 a.m., if Trump's Facebook and Instagram accounts will be will continue to be suspended.